In this experiment, we're going to have a look at the activity of the enzyme dehydrogenase. So in respiration, the purpose is to break down glucose. And when you break down glucose to release the energy, you also get the presence of hydrogen. Because what dehydrogenase does is it removes the hydrogen ions and high energy electrons. And what we're going to do is have a look at that enzyme. So we're going to use yeast because it's a living organism and therefore it carries out respiration, so has a dehydrogenase enzyme. So in my test tubes at the moment, I have put rosazarin indicator. Now what that does is it changes colour in the presence of hydrogen. So you can see it starts off a really dark blue colour. And then as the hydrogen content increases, it goes through a range of colours from purple to pink. And eventually when it's got lots and lots of hydrogen present, it should go colourless. So what we're going to do is set up one test tube with the yeast and live yeast and glucose, one with live yeast and water. The purpose of that control is to show that the live yeast doesn't produce hydrogen without the presence of glucose. And then one with boiled yeast and glucose. Obviously, when you boil a living organism, you kill it. It therefore can't respire. And by boiling an enzyme, it is then denatured and therefore doesn't work. So we're going to add equal volume of glucose to each of the relevant ones. So this one here is live yeast and glucose. And into this one here, we've got boiled yeast and glucose. And into test tube B, we're going to add water. And then into A and into C, oh sorry, into A and B, we're going to add the live yeast and C is going to get our boiled yeast. And once we've done that, I'm going to transfer them into the water bath at 35 degrees and start a stop clock. And then we're going to note the colour change and roughly at what time that happens. So we're going to add live yeast into test tube A. And we're going to add live yeast into test tube B. And then we're going to add boiled yeast into test tube C. Oh, wait a slight bit more. Okay. And then we're going to give them a wee shake. Just to mix the contents. And the next job is then to transfer them into the water bath and start the stop clock. Now, as you can see, test tube A is starting to have a kind of colour change. You can see that it's slightly lighter in colour than the other ones. We're at 125 on the stop clock. And you can see that we are having that kind of colour change. It's gone from a kind of light dark blue to starting to look like a lighter purple. Come back to that in a wee minute. Okay, a little update in about three minutes. So again, you can see that our live yeast and our glucose has got the biggest colour change. Now, there is a slight colour change in the one with the live yeast and the water. And you've got to remember that the live yeast will have some respiratory substrate um, within its cell. So you would expect a little bit of a change, but not as significant as when they have access to glucose as a, a substrate. Okay, a little five minute update. You can see that test tube A is much lighter in colours than the others. It's starting to go kind of very pink. If you have a look at the colour chart, then that's somewhere in the middle between no hydrogen and lots and lots of hydrogen. Okay, if you have a look now, you can see that we've got quite a significant colour change. It's starting to go colourless. We've got kind of seven and a half minutes on the clock. And a closer look at this one. You can see that tiny, tiny little bit of the pink colour left. It's almost colourless. This one here, again, still reasonably purple. So some hydrogen present, but nowhere near as much. And then this one here, we've had no change at all. It's still very much like a blue colour. We'll check it again um, at 10 minutes and then record our colour changes that we've got. So if you have a look at the results at 10 minutes, our live yeast and glucose has had a significant colour change. So if we're having a look at our results table here, our live yeast and glucose has gone from blue to colourless. 
and that was by a kind of 10 minutes, um, which is about 600 seconds. And our middle one has gone from blue to pink. And again, at the same kind of time frame, because we've obviously monitored this up till then. And then our other one has had no change within that same time period of 600 seconds. Okay, so hopefully you can see from that experiment that when respiration is occurring, dehydrogenase is removing the hydrogen ions and our indicator has changed colour to show the presence of the hydrogen. Lots of hydrogen when live yeast has got glucose as its substrate. A little bit of hydrogen is produced when live yeast is in water and that's because it will have some respiratory substrate within its cells. And then where we've boiled our yeast, we've got no colour change at all because no respiration is occurring because the yeast is dead and also all the enzymes will be denatured.